What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing Creative Verse. I hope that you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. We got to take the rest of that tree out before, well, at some point. But yeah, so I'm um, hanging out here today, and some stuff and things have changed. Look at this. It makes a noise. I don't remember that ever happening. And then look at these guys here. I don't remember. I may be wrong, but I don't remember them ever giving off like that. We're on fire type deal yo and these all make noises now oh, you can't hear it here here check this out oh happy noise i don't remember these i don't know maybe it's new maybe it isn't but then also um i know this is a new thing so when you go in here and say you put something in so first of all this is so much easier to do now like it used to be kind of like clunky and it was hard to get like stuff in and now and it feels like I don't know. It feels like it got changed. I could be completely wrong, but it feels like it did. And then these make a noise now. So you get a little happy noise bing, 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 when it's going in. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I went down, if you remember in the last episode, we found some diamonds. Oh, this makes noise. Oh, it's all it's got a, all the noises now. So um, we had a bunch of Lumite that we were going to get, and that's what we're processing up right now. Also, um, I think that when I... Because when, when I logged back in, I noticed that... Um, the motion blur was on, and so I turned it back off, and um, it's just not my preference, but I feel like it's still on. I don't know. It feels a little bit different, but that's cool. It doesn't It doesn't bother me. I kind of like the not on motion blur. So, all right, close that up. So we wanted to take a look at here. That noise is fun. <laughs> so we want to take a look at here. Let's get this Lumite power cell going. So we need Lumite slabs, corrupted dirt, infused crystals, which we can get. We can get all that stuff. Lumite slabs, we need four of these. How long do these take to make? Three minutes. So let's go ahead and pop those on just to make. Actually, we'll do a double so we can make two of these. Like so. Duh. Nah, maybe I'm wrong. Now it's not doing it. <laughs> I felt like it, it was better, but it feels like maybe it, it wasn't that time. All right, so what's, a, what's up, stupid pig? You want some? Not smart, buddy. Oh, yeah, just leave all, all your goodies. Yay, leather. All right, so let's square. Oh, wait. What game is this? Let's use the controls that are correct. All right, so we're going to square those in there. Uh, we need the crystal, uh, infused crystals. And then what was the other thing? Just the slabs, right? Oh man, that noise! Uh, corrupted dirt too, which we got plenty of back over here, I do believe. Corrupted dirt, sweet. So we have to wait a couple minutes for this to happen. Um, but I went ahead and I cleaned up all the blocks that were out here. So all the stuff and things are clean. We're all ready to go for our building project that we're going to be doing today. You remember at the last episode, I told you guys, I promised you there would be a building montage in this, and I'm actually really excited about it. I think this is going to be, if I'm not mistaken, the first building mont creative verse building montage in the world it probably isn't <laughs> but uh, oh something else that i noticed about these stairs you guys got to be careful when you're placing these uh when you're using them when you run up the stairs like you squirt right off like it's like a ramp Ugh, like i'm not jumping right there even if you walk you like squirt up Ugh, it like launches you off the edge there so that kind of makes the stairs not awesome because you can't <laughs> they don't really i don't know they're more like a ramp um but any whoozle so let's go ahead back over here Shut our door. And how much t more time do we have? About one more minute. We'll stick our vines away. Um, so I've been thinking about what we're going to be doing for building. And just so that you guys know, I talked about it before. But my plans are to do kind of a very simple house here. I want to build something really fun, nice, but, you know, fairly simple. Nothing um, too crazy. Because I want to kind of do the building projects. Well, I'll probably just do a couple. But I'd like to handle this like... Like, the way that this game handles progression. So, this is our, like, dirt level house. Dirt and wood. And then as we, you know, move forward and progress, we'll build with other materials. Ugh! Stupid dirt. Um, we'll use different materials because I feel like the materials that are provided lend themselves to several different building designs. Um, and I'm really excited to kind of explore the different designs that we have. 20 seconds. 22 seconds. 30 seconds. Um, but definitely want to check out the Lumite Power Cell. And then also, I think do we have some bombs to make or stuff, something like that. Um, and some of these guys to explore. But we're pretty much done with all, like I had said in the last episode, all the building blocks were complete. So let's grab some of this stuff. 
That's kind of a neat noise. I kind of like that. I kind of like the squid. All right, so we should be good to go here. And then we can go ahead and get this guy rocking and rolling. Go in there. Sword of Lumi powers out! It's a thing! All right, so squirt it on. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So did that unlock anything else for us? Just to double check. It doesn't look like it did. So we're going to grab the other two slabity bits that we got right here. And I think we have enough Lumite to make another one. We're just going to go ahead and make another Lumite power cell. All right. So let's squirt this into here. Oh, we can't. Let's take this. Now, this is a charged wooden mining cell. I didn't really know what that was about. I feel like... Um, I don't know if we need to keep all that stuff. All this armor and all this Garbo armor. I feel like the iron armor can probably go away. It was a good run, guys. But it's time to say goodbye. We'll put this cell in there, too. And then we'll throw all this stuff away. Yes. Absolutely. Um, uh-huh. Mm, okay. Yep. And the sword, do I? Yeah, I think I'm going to. All right, sweet. So uh, I'll put a couple other pieces away right here. Like that. All right, is it night? Sweet, perfect. All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and probably wait for the daytime to come. Um, I am going to leave this all like untreated dirt. We're just going to go ahead and paint it with grass like when we're done with the building. Um, I have to kind of visualize stuff and things in my mind. So, um, yeah, but I do believe that at this time I'm really excited for the first creative or speedy up bit, peeps. Ladies and gentlemen, the first house thing place. And it was kind of tough not to go humongous. And it was a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. But that is just the way things work because I love to build things ginormous. So um, we got a lot of different stuff done on the outsides. Um, you can see that in some spots it looks like the lighting is uh, struggling to keep up a little bit. There might be a little glitchy glitchiness going on. Can we get those? T See, it looks like the upper guys are like not lit up as much. It's probably because they're not lit up as much, like the bottoms. But the blending's a little bit weird. But anyhoozle. So um, yeah, just did a bunch of stuff and things like this, 
And I think it came out pretty good. I really like it. If you guys like the montage and you like the build, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Um, all right. So inside of Hyah, I got a couple of the Grand Architect torches because just because I had them. I thought I'd bring you guys back in because um, it was getting to be like a long project and um, I wanted to get some aesthetic stuff done too. I thought I'd bring you guys around for that so we can play around with it together. One of the reasons why it was taking a little bit longer um, to kind of do all the building here is that I've never used these blocks before. I've never used this, you know, it just was a little bit different. So it was get, just get, kind of getting used to it and getting used to how everything works. Um, and um, yeah, so I like it. I like it quite a bit. I The... I think one of the biggest um, opportun or like struggles that I'm having is right now is getting things lit up. I mean, it seems like stuff and things take a lot of light. So um, let's go ahead and put. I've been using lots and lots of windows. Let's put another window in right here. Oh crap! We can't put a window in right here. Um, how's this gonna work, ladies and gentlemen? Let's let us see. So, all right, let's go ahead and squirt some wall. Where did the walls go, man? Uh, is this my wooden wall? All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and squirt these back. No, that's wrong. Let's go ahead and squirt these back in. We can do it. I believe in us. And I think we're going to have to go up one higher to put a double window in just to make it look right. So we'll just put some up in here like so. Little window right there. Um, everything else inside of here is actually, I think, picketed roof from the other side. So we could put a window in there as well. It might look cool. But um, uh, then the other thing that I wanted to kind of play around with and I'm not really sure about, I'm thinking about getting a, putting a fireplace in here, but I'm not really sure where I want to put it um, or how that would work. Definitely want to get a bigger floor design done in this area too. Um, so I got to clear all this these pieces out. Also back in here, I did surround the entire thing with bedrock. And I think it just makes kind of a nice, neat, you know what I mean, framework for everything. Um, we've got a couple of sets of double doors with some um, uh, the what, what are these windows above them. Um, now, unfortunately, the double doors don't like open. You know what I mean? Like in a grandiose way where they're on uh, both sides. They don't face. Um, we just have the one opening, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you just open, just open the left one and imagine this one does it. And it's totally fine. It's not even a thing. Don't even worry about it. Random window. All right. So um, we got to get. Jeez, oh, I really don't know about this fireplace thing. I'm thinking about doing it, but I don't know. It might be too much. Just a little bit too much. I think maybe just a floor in here would be sweet. Uh, and then maybe, I don't know, getting some of the aesthetics back from the other um, that we were playing around with before. Like the tables and some stuff and things like that going in here might be cool. I don't really even plan to use this for anything more than aesthetics. Like, I don't think that we need to have it be functional in almost any way. Um, because everything that we need from a functional standpoint right now we have in our little ghetto hovel uh, and we can just keep that the way it is and just use this for aesthetics I think that'll be more fun um, and then in building this I didn't find I mean everything worked out pretty good one of the hardest things was doing the roof it is really hard to walk on those roof slabs um, it's just kind of a little bit difficult um, they're a little bit slippery and I mean it's just kind of the nature of the beast with that though so um, it's a, it, you know what I mean? It's a slant. So let's go ahead and what do we got in here? Bedrock. Do I even have any more of you? I do. Do I have enough of you? Because I want to put another edging right here. Of course. Limestone. Crap. All right. Need some more bedrock right there. And then back in here, let's see. What if we did, can we do it like this? Will this look good? Let's try this. Are we going to run out of blocks again? We are. Uh, and then maybe filling it with this. Is that going to be... Oh, that is pretty cool. I like that. That's kind of neato, right? All right, cool. All right, so... Um, and I just used some of the regular wood floor over here, which I'm not... I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, I think because... I don't think I've ever seen a real life wood floor like that, that it feels a little bit odd. It almost looks like a brown carpet though, which is kind of rad. So um, let's go ahead and back in here and build some more blocks and then get back to some other aesthetic things. What are we missing for those guys? Melted wax, of which we have plenties. Leafy, you're in my place, man. All right, let's go ahead and Just craft up a huge amount. I think we should be 64. Oh, crap. What did we run out of this time? Stone rods? You're kidding me. I just happened to have made some. 
That's right, thinking ahead. That's a hot slip gate away. All right, let's go in here and get these guys. And I feel like I might want to play around with carpeting too. Um, and as I was building in here today, I got to tell you guys, man, the the sounds have definitely been updated, and there's so many things going on. Will you, Ki, um, there's a huge amount of things going on with the sounds, um, all sorts of different things, and it was really cool. There's a sound now that the uh, machines make when they're done, um, and I got to tell you that was super sweet because I was hanging out. Oh crap, I need bedrock. I was hanging out, and I was like, um. Doing the montage, trying to wait for day and stuff like that. So I was like tabbed out and just another screens. Uh, Bedrock? I wonder if I have any more. I may be out. Oh, you're you're so kidding me right now. I have none of like the most basic block. We're going to have to go down in, into the ghetto and harvest Bedrock. How far? Is there some right here? This is it, right? All right. Just need a couple of blocks for now. So, um, yeah, I was tabbed out and I was doing stuff and things and then... Oh, listen, new noise. Oh, my gosh. It's so amazing. So um, I'd be tabbed out doing stuff and things, and then the little machines would be like, be -doo, be -doo. and I'm like, hey, what's up, machine? Why did you make that be-do-be-do -be -doo -doo sound? And the machine was like, what up, Slip? Uh, your stuff and things are done. And I said, thank you. And uh, it was really cool to know that without having to, like, be in the, in the screen. Um, and there's been a couple of times that um, I was building today, and I placed blocks, and the entire world went invisible. Um, and I could, it was kind of like a glitch where I could see through everything. And it was kind of awesome. Uh, I'll be honest with you. It was kind of neat. I was looking around and you could see like the caves and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. So, all right. Do we want to play with a carpet in there? Like a ginormous carpet? Um, would we want a ginormous red carpet or a ginormous blue carpet? Do we want carpet? It doesn't seem like a carpet kind of place. And it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a blue carpet kind of place. Although I love me some blue carpeting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's a little... This is like, almost feels like it's just like the one block carpeting for like when you walk right in the door. Like a one piece of carpeting there. Let's check this out. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling that. Um, let's go ahead and maybe do... Hmm. How about an alternating pattern stone floor and see how that looks? Let's put our carpet away. Like so, yeah. And then um I don't want anything too amazing. I want it to be kind of basic. I'm thinking limestone stone. Let's try that out and let's just see what it looks like if we alternate these. And make a floor out of that. Like so. Like so. Is it going to look amazing? Is the question. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's got like a tile thing going on to it. I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and squirt the rest of these in here. And the other thing that's really cool that I was noticing while building is that the squirt glove is, you know, it's just a really, really great tool because you don't drop things. That's the thing is it takes out, you know, it takes, there's no, I hate to always do the thing where you compare the game to Minecraft, but it takes that out where you don't have to constantly be picking things up like all the time, and which is super annoying. It's like super duper annoying uh, in Minecraft. So, all right, we've got this like so. I'd like to try to keep the lighting options like similar um, or uniformed, but I feel like I've got so, I'm gonna have t so many of these torches in here to get this place lit up. Um, but I do feel like this is kind of the best lighting option for, for, um, for this build, just because of the way it's designed, you know what I mean? Just because of the look of it. I think this will be the best way to go. So we got, a lot of lighting up in this piece, though. Um, man, oh man. Maybe we'll squirt some more in these. Oh yeah, we got those four over there. And then as far as inside the upper area here, I don't think we want to go like chandelier or anything like that. Um, we could do 
some beams. We could do some beams and then get the beams lit up. That's probably not a bad idea. I think this floor came out pretty cool. I like it. It's not bad at all. Um, and, yeah, these textures are just so awesome. And that's one of the hardest things about um, I've been finding about building here and keeping it simple, like a simple house. Because the textures are so detailed, it just makes me want to go into great detail. Like, I just want to keep adding more and more details. Like, stuff like this is kind of bugging me. Like, how those are so much darker. And it is kind of the middle of the, of the day. But maybe, you know, again, uh, it's hard not to criticize. But at the same time, we have to remember that this game is alpha, like mad alpha. Which just blows me away because it's so well done. Um, all right. So, these logs are what we need more of in order to do that. We can't place... You're not able to place, like, these wood, um, regular wood, in any other way but straight up and down. That's the only way it places. You can even see that in the environment when you're going around doing your stuff and things. Um, if we could find a branch, like a tree branch of a crag wood, um, then when they branch out, they branch out in, like, a straight line like this. That's, like, a branch. So in order to do something that is uh, faced horizontally, we need to use whatever this is even called, cragwood logs. Um, and these are kind of hard to find. I've already gone out um, scavenging for these a couple of times. Uh, there's a chest. They're not super easy. So is that Miru up on the surface? You having a hard time there, Miru? You're dead, Miro. Um, so I think that what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead on the hunt for Cragwood Logs, uh, find a little bit more, work on some more of the lighting options up in that piece, um, and kind of try to finalize it, and then maybe we'll get a little bit of the aesthetic stuff and things done, and I'll be our bees. I'm stuck. And we're back, and I have found something... Really, really strange. So I was out here looking for the Cragwood logs, of which we need many, and of which we're finding very few. Um, but I am finding some. So we're just kind of going out, and, you know, we got our teleporter to go back, so it doesn't really matter how far away from the, ho the house we go. We can go as far away as we want to go. So I was out here doing stuff and things. And then, look, finding all these Cragwood logs now that I'm talking about how there aren't any. But, um, yeah, and then I saw this thing, and I saw it in the distance, and I was like, what is that, man? That is not something like I've ever seen before. And, um, yeah, I've never seen this. I do, I do not know what it is. So let's go ahead and head over here and just take a look. Elderwood. But I've never seen – I do believe I've seen Elderwood before, but I've never seen one – oh, weird. Crazy cave. So I've never seen one like this humongous. I have no idea what's going on here. Let's just take a look around it a little bit and see. Is there like – just to see if there's like an entrance or anything like that. I doubt that there is, but just checking. Just getting the lay of the land. So this may be like a new chunks type deal. Like we're in a new area, so it's giving us a new thing. Is this thing solid? Oh my god, it is. So we're going to dig a tunnel all the way through here just to see. Wow, you are wide. You are wide, sir. And then also it looks like it goes down. Like it goes down in. Quite a ways. A few blocks at least. So what do we have? We have a bunch of crag wood. We could go up with it and just go up to the top here and see what this thing is. That is crazy up there. Wow, okay. Let's just let's just go up. So um I have no idea if this is part of the whole update thing. I gotta check a look online and see what's going on with that. Um and, and kind of get an idea of what's up with the update. Now if you jump too high, how come you can't place two blocks? No matter how fast I click, I can't get that second block to go down. All right, so let's go. How far up are we? We're almost there. And check out what's up with this tree, man. I definitely could see a building here. That would be sweet. It's going to get dark. It's about to get dark. Oh, my God. This thing is crazy. Like, these branches are super thick. And then I thought maybe there would be, like, a top we could come out of. Yay! Okay, we're up to the top. Holy crapo. This thing is ginormous. Oh my god. Crazy. Ooh, parkour, baby. That's what's up. Oh, we're getting some... Do you see that? Holy crap. We're stressing the system. It might be a new area. It might be loading new things. So it looks like that this tree... It is absolutely humongous. This area looks awesome, too. But yeah, so it's just an elder wood. It doesn't seem on the surface to have anything more um, 
special than the fact that it's a ginormous tree of ginormousness. Um, where did I, how did I get up? Here it is. So pretty cool thing though. I could definitely, you could build a house in there or something like that. It's a, like a pre-made house. For sure. So we got 34 logs, 34 cragwood logs. I don't think that's going to be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to search for cragwood, but really cool. Epic elderwood. Uh, elderwood? Yeah, elderwood tree. Very cool. Oh, also, if you guys didn't notice, and I, I don't think I've ever seen this before either, um, it looks like the leaves are falling from the trees now. Like every, There it is. You see them? There's little leaves falling from the trees. Another little epic piece. Um, I haven't seen those before, so... Oh, I'm making the noise. Okay. Uh, yeah, I hadn't seen those before. It's just really cool. Um, all right, so more uh, Cragwood logs, please. Well, there she is in all our glory, guys. Um, this is all the time I have for today, but I did do a couple more things. I decided I just wanted to... I went and ham with the torches just because the lighting is a little bit weird. So I just kind of went ham with the torches for right now, um, and we'll work it out. We'll play around with it later. But for now, this was better. I mean, because everywhere there was a torch, if there wasn't a torch, it was a black spot. So, like, the torches looked better than the black spots, like like so. So we'll just switch it over like that. And uh, I'm sure, like I was saying before, it's, you got an alpha game. It's something that they're working on. It's going to get fixed up in the future. Faux show. Sure. But I really like the way that the house came out. I hope that you guys did, too. If you did, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up button and let me know. Um, I also added a couple more little paths. Started playing with the stone paths and the natural stone paths and added a couple of those things in there. Now, I think next episode, or maybe even in between, I'll go ahead and do it myself. I think it's time we're going to play around with some of this stuff. You know, we're going to put some bookcases in. We're going to do some of this. We've got to get some fencing going, too. Oh, that's something else. Actually, we can play around with that really quickly before I go. I wanted to take a look and see if this is a thing. This might not be a thing. Let's see if it is a thing. Let's get a piece of fence. Fence. And then let's go ahead and squirt that upside down right here. And then let's squirt a torch underneath it. See? Kind of cool. Kind of a cool little thing right there. And then also, if you didn't want to do that, why don't we try one of these out here? And then I'll uh, squirt out the door. And then if we go, no, like not like that. Can we, uh, ooh, we're going to have to get super tricky to do this. Like this, like this. No, don't, that. Ah! Like this, like that. And then pull this off. And then we can squirt this. Oh, you know what we can do? This would actually be better. Check this out. Man, I'm addicted to this game. Um, I was told myself, I was like, don't have a lot of time. The building montage took a really long time. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. And then we're going to go. But now I'm just... Seeing this and going, yep, that's perfect, man. Totally awesome way to make the fences work um, as a light fixture holder type deal. So we're going to go ahead and squirt some of these up. That'll look a lot better like that. I like that. That's rad. Oh, and it adds a little bit of texture to the house too. Too cool. All right, sweet. Probably can... Wow, wow, I wonder if we can do a stone fence too. No, I've got to go. All right, we got to get going. If you guys like the video, like I said, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit, peeps. Don't spam it on Reddit. Hope that you guys have a great rest of your day.